11 years of civil war has left Sierra Leone in ruins. According to the United Nations, it's the second poorest country in the world. It doesn't have to be. After three years of peace, the rebuilding has begun, and Sierra Leone's looking for new private investment to kickstart its economy. Miles of beautiful beaches in a country that was once a war zone. Could tourism be one of the new industries that moves the country forward? Tens of thousands of people were killed and many more injured and displaced during the war. One of the largest UN peacekeeping forces helped to end the fighting, disarming thousands of rebel militia. In May 2002, stability was restored when the former ruling party were returned to power in democratic elections. Today, Sierra Leone is at a critical point. With elections scheduled for 2007, the country's leaders are keen to show they can increase economic activity and reduce poverty by encouraging new private sector development. Bimbala Carroll is Sierra Leonean, but lives in England. He left his home during the war. He's now determined to change the perceptions of his homeland. OK. He set up a website focusing on travel, tourism and investment opportunities to do just that. Last year alone, it had 40 million hits. Bimbala is travelling back to Sierra Leone with Derek Moore, founder of the international travel company Explore. Their agenda? To investigate Sierra Leone's potential for tourism and the barriers stopping the industry getting back on its feet. The website um, was set up to show people another side of Sierra Leone, a more positive side, which is not often seen in the media. It also highlights the tourism potential of Sierra Leone, but the initial mission is actually to change people's perceptions, to stimulate investment to Sierra Leone as a whole. Um, it's not just about diamonds, but yeah. Right, oh, it depends what you're looking for. Okay. I'm going to Sierra Leone because I don't really know what I'm going to find there. Um, I've read that it's got wonderful beaches, it's got wildlife reserves, it's got mountains and there's trekking there, but I don't know anything about it and I feel it's a bit of an open book for a tour operator. With some strategic planning and some looking at what can be developed, I think it could be the start of a great adventure. I'd expect you to be impressed with the Sierra Leone beaches because it's amongst the most beautiful in the sub-region and the landscape is just fantastic. Um, but not only that, but to maybe um, with your experience, say well or on the administrative side some of the barriers that maybe yeah. could be taken down to encourage investors to actually move into Sierra Leone. Until now most of Sierra Leone's foreign earnings have come from exporting diamonds but it's rich in other natural resources including titanium ore and bauxite. Agriculture could also be developed the land is fertile and at the moment only a fifth is farmed, but it needs long-term investment. Tourism, on the other hand, offers the promise of revenue on a far quicker turnaround. I think there is a need for us to create uh, an environment that will attract investments in, in areas that will provide a lot of jobs for young people, and this is going to create a required stability for this country to move forward. There is a need for us to give the assurance to the private sector to address the concerns of the private sector. And this is why, as a government, we're willing to provide the necessary support to any investor.